Cool. Hey everyone, this is the Chaos Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Working Group. Great to see you all here. Um, sharing my screen, that's what I'm doing. Here we go. Um, if you would like to add your name, I didn't add my name yet either. I'm doing well, just really busy. I don't like to be this busy. I like when I am feeling on top of things. I don't feel like that right now. So <laughs> I wish I did, but I don't. Oh, that's okay though, it's all right. Um, again, I think everyone here already knows all of this, but that's okay. Uh, is this recording? Can you all tell actually? Yes, it's recording. Yes, it's recording. Okay, thank you. I don't see the thing that tells me it is, so I'm glad. Thank you all. Uh, here's the minutes. I, I can also drop them in the chat again really quick if you need them. Anybody? There you go. Okay, um, quick reminder, no meetings, uh, no U.S.-based meetings next week. Um, if you all are attending any Chaos Africa or Chaos Asia meetings, those can still happen. Um, we just have that Thanksgiving holiday here in the States. Uh, so all of the meetings that are based on the central time zone have been canceled and that's all been reflected on our calendar here, which is right here. So everybody can see that. So if you're subscribed already to these meetings, it should be, it should reflect on your calendar as well if you're subscribed to any of these. Um, so these are the meetings that will happen next week. That's it. And then, um, as you all know, we take a very big break at the end of the year because people are just starting to feel tired burned out they just need a break <laughs> and the, the end of the year can get super super busy for people and so it's nice to just kind of have some time back to yourself um, the only uh exceptions are the chaos con committee is going to meet at some point to discuss the call for papers which is or call for proposals sorry which is december 17th that ends it's down here uh, so that group will meet and then the UNSDG working group decided to keep their meeting on December 11th because that's a newer meeting and so they were just they have some momentum going they didn't want to just be done till the end of the year which they would have been so they decided to go ahead and keep their meeting which is right here so they're the only ones everybody else is is done until next year till this first week of or sorry second week of January. I guess you would say that January 6th. Anybody have any questions about any of that? Happy to answer anything. Okay, the next issue was something we were talking about in the community call, I think two weeks ago. Uh, we had some folks who are asking about um, the translations on the website, the chaos website. And we use this uh, Google Translate. These are the um, the languages that we have enabled. We can do others if, if we get a request for them. We just didn't want to have like a giant list for people to sift through to find their language. So we add as we're asked, uh, we add in different languages. But we have found a few tweaks that need to be made here and there. And so um, someone brought up like how they would report that, how they can help make that make that change so we are going to be opening or, or creating an issue template in our website repo so that people can tell us what is wrong with the website and what needs what it should say instead and then we can go back in and fix that because it's not 100 percent perfect like i think sometimes it doesn't know what to do with with the word chaos <laughs> so i think uh it kind of messes that up sometimes just as an example so um, I think that once we have that, we can be better at promoting this as an actual way to contribute because we really haven't brought too much attention to that bit of chaos as far as contributions go. So um, that way we'll have a better process for that. Anybody have questions on that or suggestions or anything? Okay. 
And then that also, so this, this actually came up from a, a Badger orientation. Someone asked if we only took applications in English. And right now, yes, we do. Um, but then it kind of opened this whole can of worms about how we can maybe open up our applications to other events that are not primarily in English. So I know it's, it's like, that's a whole separate, um, a separate can of worms, I guess, uh, or a separate issue, because if we get an application in French, for example, we have to have someone that speaks French that can review the application. So um, that would be like a, like a second half of this. We would have to go, I guess that would be for you and me, Eddie, guys, to go back to the Badgers and ask them what languages that they can, they can speak and that they might be able to review in. Um, but then it kind of also then brought up this issue about the badging website. Since the badging website is separate from our WordPress site, um, this was brought up because we're using G Translate on the WordPress site and there is a widget. So it's just something we, we brought up. Um, it's it's a bigger conversation. Like I said, it's not going to be something that's easily implemented, I don't think. But we are getting up to 200 badges so it would be nice I feel like we have a good process in place we're pretty stable pretty solid so this might be a way for us to expand in 2025 uh, if we want to open it up to to and be as inclusive as possible to um, not just English events but all, all kinds of events so what, what do you all think about that do you think that's something that's important or do you think that that's uh, something that's going to be way too much work and not that much of, a, of an impact or not that many events that we would be making all this work for, if that makes sense. What do you all think? That would be cool. Because it will yeah, give uh, a cool. lot of people access, uh, opportunities to come in. Okay. We can hear you Hello? sort of. Hello? We can kind of hear you, but you're kind of hard to understand. Okay, but can you hear me now? Oh. Yeah, that's better. Okay, it's better. Okay. So um yes, uh I want to agree with others to say it's a good idea. Um, becoming more inclusive by having other languages. But right now, um, so I had um, like a short meeting with uh, the other maintainers of the budget website. And um, we have an understanding that because of the recent changes we have been making, we, the website is a bit of, of people and that's why we are having issues with people seeing different things at different times. So right now we are pretty much um like focused on that to even get the the um website to be more stable. Uh, I don't know how much of the um, work it would require for us to be able to then have um Google like translate to it, but I think I'll have to go back. Let me read through. Let me talk with um, the other guys and see if it's something we can pick up immediately. Into but it's a nice idea. Yeah, I have like I have no idea what it would entail <laughs> to actually implement this. Um, but I like that we all kind of agree that it's it's good in in theory anyway. So definitely make, you know, something for 2025. Um, we can start looking at, you know, breaking that down and seeing what the process would be for making those changes and enabling that. Um, and maybe we can. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Um, I wanted to say that we can also indicates that uh, we can put it down that we have a lot of moving parts to do so that means that we need badgers who can translate uh, or who can read other languages and review in other languages so what would that entail we do have to make a call out for such badgers or do we even already have them in our uh, um, 
channel right now. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's, I, I was just going to say that I think that that will drive the direction of what language we would start with is whatever badgers we have that are willing, able to say, yes, I can take a, I can take an application in French. Um, I can take an application in Spanish, whatever that, that might look like. Um, and also, I don't want to, I don't want to say, okay, yeah, we're going to do applications in all these different languages. We have one person that can do French, for instance, and then every single application comes to them that we get that comes in French. Not that we would get a ton, but like, who knows, right? And so if that person ever decides, hey, I'm tired of doing this. I don't want to do this anymore. Like now we've opened up that capability and we don't have a badger to back that up. And because um, we don't want someone to feel like they are on the hook for the rest of their life <laughs> to, to be a badger for the rest of their life for eternity. So uh, I think that's definitely uh, something we need to think about at least have, you know, maybe if there are languages where we have several people that can handle them together, then that would be the best case scenario. I think that would be maybe our criteria. Um, I'm going to put that in here. Uh, like Maybe we have a criteria of more. Whoops, doesn't have to field all the applications. Something like that. Yeah. So I just want to add this that it's a good time to also then begin to explore copilot. You know, I, I was talking about copilot at the training that I did, the last um, the last training that I did, and um I've really been thinking about how we should start to use copilot for our for our work at Chaos, especially on the repository. So that could also solve the translation problem. Probably we get in one language, um, kind of do automation for, I don't know how it will work. I'm just thinking right off the top of my head and get copilot to translate to English for reviewers to then like review and say, hey, this is a critical, even what do you think about it? Yeah, I think that's great. I think that would be amazing. If 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 that's something that Copilot can do, I haven't poked around enough with Copilot to know what its full capabilities are. Um, but yeah, I think that would be amazing. If we can use that. Mm -hmm. You're talking about GitHub Copilot, right? Yes, I'm, I'm talking about good um, Copilot. Yes, GitHub Copilot and at the organizational level, um yeah because there's also a microsoft copilot which is totally different and it's so confusing to me like naming is hard but anyway um it doesn't have anything to do with code it's more of like ai stuff anyway um so do, do you know i'm fairly certain there is a fee that comes with copilot is that right or do you know if they offer that to open source projects i should know this but i don't Please, could you say that again? What did you say? Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering if you happen to know if there's a cost involved with, like, do we have to buy Copilot for the Chaos Org, or is that something that they offer for open source projects for free? Um, I think that it is open for free for open source maintainers, but at organizational level, we will need to pay. But again, I was talking. I think we do already have Copilot. You should talk oh, to okay. I think we have to pilot. Um, we are subscribed to copilot. Let's just check. Do we we so we have this already on the chaos org or the badging org? No, the chaos chaos org. I think. Okay. And if not, we can look at the uh, cost to domestic. Um, 
okay. We can certainly look into that. I think that's a great idea. I feel like if we are able to use that in that way, I feel like that would be a great blog post. Probably GitHub would really love to know that we're doing that too. <laughs> they love to hear how people are using Copilot. So that's super interesting. Great, great idea, great idea. Any other questions, comments, discussion about this? And I do want to just stress, this is definitely not anything urgent or, you know, anything like that. I think if we just set it as a goal for at some point in 2025, that maybe we start on this project, that would be great. I don't think it needs to be uh, like a high priority or anything like that, because it's not like we have already applications or people, you know, contacting us saying, hey, why don't we have this in French? It's just kind of something that we thought of. So, um, yeah. If it feels, I don't want it to feel overwhelming to people, I guess is really my point, because <laughs> it does, there is a lot here and it will take a little bit of coordination and a little planning, I think, to, to really implement this, but um, it could be fun. It could be interesting. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move on. I just did want to mention we, we, we have done 192 event badges, which is amazing. So we are almost at 200. I don't know if we'll hit 200 by the end of the year, but that would be super, super cool. I would be very excited about that. I am. I am excited, uh, particularly because, uh, probably because I'm at the back end of um, the applications and all that. So I'm so looking forward to our 200 uh, badge application. But then I, I I want to raise um uh, the the issue of us creating a survey. I think I suggested it earlier. I would really love to um hear from our uh, applicants so that we can even um be able to measure how well we are doing and even inform what we intend to the changes we intend to make next year. I don't know if it's too late to do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's a great question. That's a really great question. Um, I don't, I don't think it's ever too late to get feedback from people. Um, even if we wait till the first of the year to, to, you know, create a survey and, and send it out to those folks who have applied. Um, just to see how we can do things a little better and how how the process especially since we have the the newer smoother process it would be good to maybe just check in with them and and see if it's working okay if they have any other you know i don't know um maybe that's something that we decide to to do like new year new thing okay. you know as we're making our our plan what do you think about that okay okay no problem new year is good yeah, let's put that on the list here too. Um, I love that idea. Let's pick this. I mean, it's not like we have hundreds of people to reach out to. <laughs> there's, there's maybe, maybe 30 if I had, like that's maybe even a high estimate, maybe not even that, maybe there's a dozen different event organizers who have submitted something to us, but, um, yeah, that would be, I think that's a great idea. I think it is. I'm not sure the best way to go about that um, because I don't know that we have contact information like emails for all of them. I know we have them for some, but uh, we might just do it through GitHub and just say, here's an issue, here's a survey, tag people and just do it that way. Um, just a thought, I don't know, but we can certainly figure that out later. Not a big deal. I love that. I love that idea, though, of seeing like how we can be better. 
Um, Arinka, do you think it would be a good idea or uh, or not to even reach out to the Badgers to see how the experience is for them? Yes, I think I would love her to do that too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, just to check in with them. I know that you... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that a lot. And Adi, I'm not saying this has to be you or me or anybody. Like we can, we can also um, enlist some <laughs> some help with this. So it doesn't have to just fall on our shoulders. But um, I really like both of those ideas a lot. Okay. And speaking of new badger orientations. Uh, if anybody here wants to be a badger and was not able to attend the last few badger or one of the last few badger orientations, we're finished with those for the year, but you can, there is a recording. I recorded the last one we just did. So uh, feel free to watch that. And at the end of it, you will see how you can become a badger. So feel free to do that. And Adi Inka, just so you know, I did send that recording to someone who reached out to me and said, sorry, I couldn't make the meeting, but I really want to be a badger. So I just sent that recording to them. And so you may see another application come in from that one or okay. two, maybe, I don't know. Okay, no problem. Awesome. Okay, before we go on, anything else about badging? Okay. Um, this is just an FYI, the community survey is now over. I'm working with a few of the folks in the research group about kind of analyzing those results. We had about 58, I think was the final number of um, completed or partial uh, submissions. So that's a little like of just a few less than we got last time. I, I'm really hoping the next time we run this, we get a lot more because I don't know that that's actually representative of our full community. We have a lot of people in the community. And so um, next year, I think uh, maybe we do a little more promotion leading up to it, just to try to like create some buzz and remind people that it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Um, I don't know. We did get some feedback too on how to make it a little bit better and a little more inclusive. We're missing a few things on there. So uh, that was great, really great feedback. So next year or next time we do this, um, it should be a little bit better. Maybe we can make it a little easier for people to, because it, I mean, it is kind of a long survey. It's maybe 14 questions, I think. So it's a lot. Um, so I don't know, we'll see, but just want to let y'all know that we did finish it and results are coming. At least some high level themes we're hoping to get out of that, like we did last time. Any questions on that? Okay, um, it looks like we just have one more real thing on our agenda, which is I just want to remind you all that uh, Chaos Con EU, the call for proposals is open, call for talks is open until December 17th. So if you have something on your mind you want to talk about uh, to the Chaos Con group, you can certainly submit that. We would love that. Here is it's just a quick Google form, pretty easy, pretty. Uh, pretty lightweight. We do look for quicker talks, but if you have a longer session you want to do, that's totally fine. You just would tell us that here. It is hard. As someone who has just given a talk in 15 minutes um, at All Things Open a couple of weeks ago, it's actually really hard to do a talk in 15 minutes because you got a lot to say about a thing, you know, and you're passionate about the thing. And so to cut it to 15 minutes is super hard. I was only able to do mine in 18, even though I practiced it a lot. I still went over and still went into 18 minutes, but that's okay. <laughs> so here is, uh, yeah, so that's that. 
And then, of course, if you are going to be there, um, registration is $10. Uh, that's open. And if you work for a company that um, does do some sponsorships here and there, that would be great. We could really use the, the help, the support there financially just to help defer the costs of providing snacks and drinks to everybody, the cost of the room rental. Um, and then we are going to have a social event at the end of the day. So um, that would be great too. I think we may have a sponsor for that already, but I need to double check on that. So, but yeah, any, any sponsorship help is, is certainly welcome. We would really appreciate it. And that also helps us keep the registration to $10. So that's really our goal is we don't want it to be um, cost prohibitive if we can help it. And we, we would have it for free, but um, <laughs> turns out if people sign up for free things, they don't feel as uh, obligated to show up. So, <laughs> so yeah, you'll have a lot of, you'll have a lot of signups and, and not very many people come is, has been my experience anyway in the past. So. And I think we're at the end of the agenda. Um, what else do you all have on your minds? What else can we talk about? Okay, well, I guess we, we talked about everything we wanna talk about today. Um, no meetings next week for chaos. So you can show, unless you're in uh, chaos, Asia, chaos, Africa, those meetings will still happen. Any other US based ones are canceled for Thanksgiving. So we will see you here at this meeting two weeks from today, same time, same place. And that will be the last meeting of the year. So hopefully you can make it. We will see you all later. Have a great day, everybody. See you around. Thanks for coming. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.